So mamaya, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung anong requirements pagka uh, pabalik na ng Manila. Gabi sa buong ilera. Cheese coin. Parang cake. Let me share with you where you can find the cheapest Kit Kat flavors here in Japan. Welcome to Takeshita Street. It is a pedestrian-only street and the epicenter of Harajuku's vibrant fashion scene. Yuri, five nine nine, umalaki na. Sige nga, tignan nga natin. Main road, no? Tignan natin, saan yung Bure? So, 698, mas mahal, oo. Bawal sa Pinas. Ubus ang paninda mo pag ginawa mo yan sa Pinas. Hindi na, chill lang. Kung nga lang, bahit ka. Sobrang tiwala. Bakit? Ganun ka safe dito. Hindi, gusto mo na ba mag-makeup? <laughs> Leponte. Uy, ang bango naman nung kinakain nila. Saan yan? Ito, Akrip! Shopping galore ka dito. Second hand, magkano? 199, 129. Oh, pa, outfit. Kogi nga dito pa Hanggang legs. Hanggang legs. <laughs> Sobrang haba. Ah, ito yung Marion Crips. So, Here you can find a variety of trendy boutiques, unique shops, cafes, and street food vendors making it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Without the whipped cream. Hmm. Ice cream. Hmm. Parang this is the sobrang matamis. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate cake po. Grabe no. Binidburan mo ng sobrang sugar. Tignan mo sa taas, matcha. Oo nga. Ano yung sasabi sobrang kapal din? Oo nga. So dito sa kanila yung mga crepe. Crepe no? Oh! Pagawa-gawa lang. Shin Futa. Bakit parang kong usok? Nalagay niya ng ano sa taas, caramel. Tapos ipot ang torch niya. Eh, parang creme brulee. Creme brulee sa taas. Brown sugar sa tabi. Brown sugar pearl. Daya, berries is waving. Sino ka dyan? Sino mo? Sino mo yung taong... 1.5 liter grab. Sobrang laki ng taong. May naglalakad ba ng ganyan yung suot? Tinusukot ni ate oh. Hindi pa sila na-injure, natatapilok. Kahit sa lalaki, nakita namin, di ba? Merong ano, meron din na nakatakong. Takeshita Dori. Mga damit din. Fashion. Shoes. May nila ka pang pokari. Pangit sa ano, sa video. <laughs> New balance. Are you walking in the street one day with Sunday? You with flowers in your hand and dancing with chair from Sunday again. Everyone was watching you. Palit ka muna. Palit ka muna ng bago. If you're into vintage clothing, art, and unique finds, this is the place to be. It's a narrow lane that connects Harajuku to Shibuya and is home to various boutiques and independent shops. Just remember, vintage shopping requires a bit more time and effort compared to traditional retail shopping. You might need to search through racks and shelves to find the perfect piece. But the thrill of discovery and the satisfaction of finding a unique item make it a worthwhile experience. Harajuku is a famous among sneaker enthusiasts and those interested in streetwear. Sneaker shops in here are not just about shoes. They often create their collections to reflect the latest streetwear and fashion trends. 
you can also discover stylish clothing and accessories that complement your sneaker choices. They are also known for offering a unique and hard-to-find sneakers that might not be available in mainstream retail outlets. These shops cater to sneakerheads who appreciate rare and distinctive designs. Panda? Parang light green. Parang mint green na ano no? From globally recognized brands to niche and local labels, sneaker shops here offer a diverse range of footwear options. You'll even find everything from classic and iconic models to the latest sneaker trends. More expensive. Tax included, so. Included there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. 10%. Fresh from nap. Change outfit. And lamig. <laughs> So today we are going to Kabuchiko, the biggest red light district in Tokyo. There are so many restaurants and food here. For sure, it's a good thing until the next day. It's already 9pm. It's a different part because it's like 9, 10. It's in our hotel. It's like all of them are going to help. It's just residential. It's kind of residential. Yes. Here, we're going to go back. All night or pare. Is it good? Is it good? Gaggy. Gaggy. Simula dun sa pagbaba namin ng ano, train station. Sobrang lakas ng amoy. Wow! Kabuchiko Tower. Kita ba? Ano lang to? Shops, restaurant, cafe, entertainment, theater. Good night is young, brother. Uy, Apa Hotel! Apa Hotel, dapat sa time of check-in eh. Kaso, bakit nga ba? Parang mas malapit kasi yung mga ano, yung tabata dun sa mga pupunta natin. Wow! Sobrang daming tao! Kala mo may event eh, no? May rave po ba? Sa nang party? Ang cute! Daming parang naka-anime, oh. Cafe? Ito. Marami yata mga karaoke dito eh. Grabe isang buong ilera yung mga nandito. Ano kaya ito? Oh, mga bar. Tsaka ano? Yung mga naka ano, nag invite sa bar nila. Marami mga bars at tsaka ano dito eh, karaoke. Tapos restaurant. Pero grabe yung daming tao. <laughs> eh, expect na ganito. Pare ng basura, at least, nasa isang side lang. Hindi yung parang makikita kang kalat-kalat sa ilalim. Sa sahig, no? <laughs> Yanap ko. Sabi ko, parang may pinapipicturan yung mga tao. Ayun pala. Yung ulo ng Godzilla. Ano, 
may donkey rin pala dito. Bro, tumatawid na. Sobrang liwanag. Pagi o nga eh. Parang nakakasilaw. Kainan lang. Kainan lang ba? Oo nga. Hi! Pokemon! Tulog na. Tulog na yan. Matulog na yan. Tulog na yan. No! Ay, hindi. Nandiyan na kasi. Nandiyan na. Naka magkano na kaya sila dyan? Yay! Magic Corp. Sino yan? Kagi. Uy! Uy! Ah, ang galing na. Sakto. Ah, ayo kata yun na. Oops. Ah, no, give up. Tokyo is definitely a paradise for Japanese arcades, and this place is one of them. On the first floor, you'll find different varieties of crane toy games. The second floor mostly has shooting games, so if you're looking for something fun to play as a group, this is a perfect choice. On the other floors of this building, you can also find some retro arcade games like Tekken, Tetris, and a lot more. This arcade is perfect for everyone to enjoy as they have plenty of games catering towards kids as well as adults. If you're looking for a fun and classic experience, this is a must visit. Mas mura, pero tag naman naman yung laman, oh. Hindi kayo tinipid. Wow! Tapos grabe yung amoy. Grabe, hanggang kabilang kanto amoy na amoy. Mm. Mm. Sobrang sulit. Dito siya tapat ng ano, Tokyo Kabukicho Tower. Ang bango niya. Sa kanto lang. Follow the smell. 24 hours open. Ibig sabihin, ganun sila kalakas. Lakas, malakas. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> May kebab rice din sila pag gusto niyo ng rice 500 lang. Oh my god, ang busog na sana ako kung yung money coin pinangkain ko na ito. Ano yung rice? Oh? Kebab rice. Okay. Sagi sa brand laki din. We also visited Shinjuku Golden Guy. Famous for its unique and nostalgic atmosphere, compromise of narrow alleys and tiny bars making it a must-visit destination for those seeking a taste of old Tokyo. It has a collection of small, intimate bars that can usually accommodate only a handful of customers. Each bar has its own distinct theme, decor, and ambience, offering a diverse and eclectic experience. 
But one of the drawbacks of Golden Guy is that the drinks of the bar can be quite expensive. High prices are in part due to the exclusivity and limited capacity of the bars. Also, some have cover charges and they will state this outside. So make sure to check on the door if there is a cover charge before going in. Wow, astig! Ay po, nakakostume sila! Pero walang ano sa ulo. Katawan lang. Minion show. Oo nga eh. Nakadamit lang. Bawal, bawal yung merong ano sa ulo. Ay, hindi meron eh. Oh. Hello! Mega Don Quixote. Don Quixote. At hindi na kontento sa agabi. We are here at Don Quixote in Shibuya. Finally, nakakita tayo ng money ko. Ay, nilijit! 500, ano din? 500 yen. Let's try! Finally, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it. Finally! This is so hot. It's so hot. I'm going to eat it in the Donkey. You can buy it in the room, then you can leave it out. You can leave it out. You can eat it in the room. It's still hot. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Pancake na may cheese. Hmm. <laughs> so, di ba lagi may hype to na parang ang haba ng pila, ganun. Siguro dahil ano siya, dahil sa mozzarella na ganun. Na nag expand pag kinakagat mo. Tapos meron pa siyang shape ng parang coin. For the gram, why not? Hmm. 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 Sobrang ma-appreciate mo to, kahit parang pancake lang siya. <laughs> I like it. Must try. So, hindi lang sa Dotonburi siya meron. Meron din siya dito sa may Tokyo, sa may Shibuya. Since this is our last night in Tokyo, it's the perfect opportunity to buy pasalubong before we head back to Manila. Among Filipinos, KitKat with its various flavors has become one of the most affordable and famous pasalubong choices. But let me share with you where you can find the cheapest Kit Kat flavors here in Japan. Let's try to compare prices. Souvenir shops located at famous tourist attractions like Lake Oishino tend to sell expensive Kit Kat flavors because they often expect tourists to pay a premium for souvenirs as part of the travel experience. But it offers the advantage of convenience, a wide selection of flavors, and the opportunity to bring home unique souvenirs that represent the local culture and traditions. Don Quixote, also known as Donkey, is a famous discount store chain in Japan. It is renowned for its wide variety of products, competitive prices, and the unique shopping experience it offers. Prices of KitKat here is relatively cheaper than the souvenir shops. One of the cons of shopping at Donkey is the potential for long lines at the tax-free counter due to the high tourist traffic and the complex tax-free process. And if you're expecting this is the place to buy KitKat, there's a place selling cheaper than this, so keep watching. 
Matsumoto Kiyoshi in the airport sells expensive KitKat due to several factors, including the convenience of its location for travelers, the added cost of operating within an airport environment, and the potential for higher demand and tourist expectations. Despite the slightly higher prices in airport locations, many travelers find the convenience of shopping at Matsumoto Kiyoshi worthwhile especially when they are looking for last-minute souvenirs or specific products not easily found elsewhere. Now let me tell you where we found the cheapest KitKat flavors to buy for your next Japan trip. Yeah. Alam niyo na guys, ang pinagbabawal na technique. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. <laughs> Dito siya sa may tapat ng Harajuku. Harajuku Station, JR. Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo. Ay, Gagi! Nakakaubusan. Pwede mo na lahat na joke. <laughs> KitKat flavors are cheaper to buy in drugstores due to the volume purchases, frequent promotions, direct distribution, lower overhead cost, and focus on high volume sales. These factors enable drugstores to offer more affordable prices on the popular confectionery. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and share for more tipid hacks. Yes. Hindi alam. Hindi alam. ko na may pikain ito na. Balik bayan, balik bayan, balik bayan. Mga anak, pa. pauwi na kami. Char. <laughs> balik bayan starter pack. <laughs> Ito siya guys, oh. Tapat ng Harajuku Station. Tapos tax free pa. So kung maka 5k kayo, may discount pa yun. Let's go home! Good morning! So ngayon, mag-check out na kami and then... Pupunta na tayo diretso sa airport. A clearing is in progress. Please wait a moment. Uh, Thank you very much for your stay. Uh, We are looking forward to your next visit. Uh, Check in muna tayo na um, baggage natin and then after that um, ibabalik na natin yung pocket wifi na ni rent natin sa Japan Wireless. Last minute na pasalubong and ay ayan, gadget meron din. Hmm, sobrang haba din ng dami din tao na umuwi papunta ng Manila. Grabe, kaya dapat maaga pa lang nagpumupunta na kayo sa airport from here dito sa May Japan ano, departure area. Um, hiningi lang sa amin yung sa passport, scan lang siya tapos facial recognition and then okay na. So mamaya, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung anong requirements pagka pabalik na ng Manila or pagka-arrive natin ng Manila. So we just landed here in Manila. Yung mga requirements or yung mga hiningi lang sa amin is yung boarding pass. Is scan yung lang siya and then after that yung uh, passport na. Tapos after nyo mas scan yon, mag facial recognition and yung sag ano lang kay ng fingerprint nyo. After that, uh, makakakuha na kayo ng inyong um, printed na sticker 
na ipapakita ko dito sa screen. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Ididikit nyo siya sa passport nyo. So, pag landing namin doon, sobrang haba ng pila doon sa may yung immigration officer um, na tatatak sa passport. Pero, kapag ka sa automated kayo, mas madali. Ang um, downside lang niya is may times sa na hindi siya nasa scan or may times na hindi binabasa yung documents or passport. So, mapipilitan ka rin pumila dun sa mismong IO officer. So, yun lang naman guys, yung hining eh. Yung e-arrival card na pinil up namin sa my e-travel, hindi naman siya hining eh pagka landing namin. But, just to be sure, mag-download na rin kayo ng QR nyo para in case na hingin, at least mas mabilis na yung process. So, yun lang naman guys, yung requirements pagpabalik ng Manila. Uh, I hope uh, nakatulong tong vlog na to sa inyo. And I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye!